Welcome to the intro video. During this sequence, we're going to show you how to fit a seat. What we wanted to make sure is that you felt that these skills and this art form was both accessible financially and practically. None of what we're doing is either expensive to do. You can find relatively cheap secondhand suits in charity shops, as we did with Luca. In addition to that, the tools that you're going to need are going to be very, very inexpensive. And on top of all of this, the skills that we're applying are rudimentary. You need no experience with sewing. All you need is to pick up that thimble and go ahead and sew. There's really not much to it. Wow, I can do it myself. So things to look out for while you're purchasing. It's essential that you buy something that's too big. Uh, you definitely don't want to go for anything that's snug. If it's too snug, it's likely not to be alterable. So big is good. This also means that if you're uncomfortable changing into the garment that you've bought, then you don't necessarily have to. You can simply apply it in front of yourself in the mirror and ensure that it is boxier than your wall figure. Um, in which case, job's good. You can walk away and buy it. Joshi from the future here with a footnote. It is in theory, but not always without compromise, possible to alter any garment to reasonably fit a person. However, this should not be seen as an encouragement to buy any suit regardless of sizing. You should aim to buy something that sits somewhere between slightly baggy and fairly oversized, but never smaller or bigger than those fits. This way you'll achieve great results without excessive alteration. Things to look out for though, which need to fit, and that's the only thing that we really need to be careful about, are shirt collars. If you're buying a shirt, altering a collar, a bit of a nightmare. So what you can do is bob it on over your t-shirt, button it up at the top, make sure that it's nice and snug, and then you're good to go. How was that? It's horrible. It's okay. Why? How do you do this job? For this fitting, this is everything you're going to need. You'll simply need some pins and a square of chalk. That's a triangle of chalk. So for fitting, this is everything that you're going to need. You simply need some pins. One more time. <laughs> for this fitting, this is everything you're going to need. You'll simply need some pins and a triangle of chalk or a square. <laughs> Any shape chalk you want. I think keep the confused thumbs up at the end. <laughs> um, I felt really good about the shop. It's a lot nicer than previous shops that I've had by myself. It felt nice to go with a group of people. Well, I've shopped alone before in Manchester. Immediately someone went in, started um, taping all around me. It was very uncomfortable. Uh, and I just walked right out. I missed a wedding before actually because I didn't have a suit for it. I felt a little embarrassed not to go to a wedding without a suit. I feel like a suit is a very big rite of passage uh, for a lot of masculine people because you can't really go to a formal event without a suit. I feel like, you know, maybe smart trousers and shirt will cut it just about, but I feel like I'd look a lot more comfortable and confident in a suit that fits me well. Okay, so the first thing we're looking for is your collar size. So if you've turned in place over okay, here and we've buttoned it up, what we definitely didn't want is for your collar to be too big, mm -hmm. and that's going to flush against your neck. So we're all good. However, we can alter the sleeve length. Yes. So what we're going to do is grab some pins and we're going to put them in the middle of your seat. It's quite tiny and basic. I'm going to do up your cuff. Oh, we've got to watch that side. Shall I take it off? Yeah. So what we're going to do is button your cuff. Okay. There. And we're going to ask you to pull your arm all the way out and we're going to take away the excess that's left over. So I'm going to put a pin at the front of the arm and then I'm going to put another one at the bottom of the arm. Just taking away all the excess material. I don't want it tight, I just want to remove whatever's left over. 
Cool. Let's look at the rest of the shirt. How do you feel about the shirt in the body? Would you like it slightly tight to you, or are you quite happy with it being a bit boxy? Um, sure, I think I, I think I like it being a bit boxy. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Okay. If we wanted to make it tighter, mm -hmm. what we would do is if we turn you around, all the way, we've got these little darts here, and we could pop two pins in, if we wanted to, and remove some of the excess in the back, just like this. So we pin either side of here, however much we wanted to take away from the waist. Don't over pin, we definitely don't want the shirt to be tight, but if you want that little silhouette, you can achieve it just by popping those two pins in there. And we then increase the dart amount, which we'll show you in the next video. But for now, we're gonna take these away because you don't want them. In terms of the length of the shirt, let's turn you around. So we don't want the shirt to be butting all the way down into your trouser. So you definitely need to shorten it. Mm. And we're going to work out to where we need to shorten it. Now, if it's too short, it's going to come out of your trousers. If it's too long, it's going to bunch up, which we don't want. So we're going to find the middle ground here, a couple of inches above the crotch, and we're going to pop a pin in where it needs to be shortened. Okay. And if we turn around, we're going to do the same thing. Pull this down, come up a couple of inches above the crotch. And then pop in a pin. Great. All good? Amazing. <laughs> right, let's do the trousers. So let's tuck you in. So we've got our trousers on, and what we're looking for first is the leg line, and we're looking at the waist. Mm -hmm. So we want these to sit as high as possible. Mm -hmm. Reason being is that the higher they are on your waist, the more elongated your leg line is going to look. Yes. Yeah? So that's what we want. That's good. So we want a straight leg line, and we want them high on the waist. So we're going to turn you around all the way, and we're going to take out of the back however much we need to reduce the waist by. So I'm pinning in the centre back over here by the amount that the waist feels right. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm then going to grab a chalk and I'm going to mark either side of my fingers how much that needs to come in. Okay? And then we have that mark here, which is a reduction in our waist. Now, if we turn you around again, so we know where the trouser is going to sit on the waist. We now want to look at the legs. So, I'm now holding the waist in position, so we've got it exactly where it's going to lie on the waist. How do you feel about the leg line? Um, you mean the fact that it goes underneath my foot? So, ignoring, ignoring <laughs> the length for now, uh -huh. but just looking at how the trouser shape is along your leg, how do you feel about that? Well, perhaps a little bit tighter over here, but a little yeah. flat at the bottom. Sure, okay, we can do that. Minimum, yeah. Okay. So if you hold the trouser up here, yes. and then I'll start pinning down the leg. So we're gonna start pinning from about here. We definitely don't wanna make it tight, but we want to reduce the amount of width around your knee if we're gonna get a flare just pinning along that seam by the amount I want to reduce it by. Okay. And do you think we can keep the original width at the bottom? It's, that's, that's quite a nice wide width. We could, we could go narrow in the knee and then splay out at the bottom sure. to give you that flare. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're pinning just from here into the knee and then back out to nothing mm. at the bottom of the leg. So we do this on the out seam. Like so. And then we're going to do exactly the same process on the in seam.
once we pinned the first time round. We're going to take a step back and have a look at it from afar. And it's quite difficult to visualise, but sometimes pulling the inlays back can help to see what the final look might appear to be. You do it that way as well. Do you want a bit further up here? Yeah. Now, once we're satisfied with the silhouette of the leg, we're then going to take up the bottoms. So why don't we pop your shoes on? Yes. Goes with the suit. <laughs> Okay, so we're now going to look at the bottom of the leg. We're going to put a pin at the toe and at the heel to the length that you want them to sit at. So, you've got some choices. Did you want a break in the leg where there's a little bit of gather of cloth down the front, or did you want the trouser to sit completely flat against the shoe so there's no interruption in this leg line? Uh, completely flat. Yeah. And then if we turn you around, so we're now going to pin the heel of the trouser and we want the heel of the trouser to be slightly longer than the toe, sitting that two and a half inches off the ground. should be altered. Um, so definitely the length of the sleeves and the coat itself. And then we might um, see if there are other necessary tweaks in the waist. But first we deal with what's most obvious. So we're missing a button in the front of this so second half jacket. So we're just going to fasten it to where it usually would come. So if you look straight ahead, we fasten it to the button. Now we're going to have a look at the length of the jacket and we're going to pin it into place. And we're simply going to pin it where we think it should end. So straight across from the bottom. And you only need to do one side, because the other side will be identical. A little high? Yeah, mm. sure. I feel like the higher the taller mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. The higher we go, the closer the pocket is to the bottom. Yes. And that can start looking a bit funky. Mm -hmm. So we need to be just a little bit careful. Okay. Yeah. So if we turn sideways. Now looking at the back of the jacket, we could possibly take it in a little bit, but we're going to have a look at it once we've done the sleeve and that'll give us a better idea of what it's looking like. So if we turn your background, and let's put this cuff up. And then let's have a look at the sleeve. So if we want to shorten it by, there around. And we want to leave about a quarter of an inch of visible cuff. Yeah. So to about there. Pin it.
and let's stand back and have a look at that. So let's make some tiny adjustments. Get more length on the sleeve. Just that. I think the coat length is looking about right. So what's happening in the jacket, I think, is it's looking a little bit full in the front. <laughs> and what we can do is wrap it over just a little bit. So it's looking okay through the sides. We've got a fair amount of shape. We can have a look at that in a second. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is just give it a little bit more wrap. And what that's going to do is going to reduce the amount of chest that's present in the coat. Okay. Yeah. Now what that's done is it's meant that the bottom overlaps a little bit. So when we shorten the jacket, we're going to take away a little bit more at the front so that we've got a visible opening through the bottoms. So that's where we chalk the shape of the bottom of the jacket. Now let's look at the shoulders. A lot. Not glasses. Really? Yeah. So we're just going to mark with the chalk where we'd like that shoulder to narrow into. Just to give you a little bit of a snug look. Let's look at the waist. So I think you could do with maybe a little bit out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. I, li I like it like a good fit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pin out of the jacket under the arm the excess that I think we can take out. So again, we're not overdoing it. We don't want things to be tight, but we can have them shapely without them being tight. amount of shape coming in through there. I think that's looking good. I don't think we need to take in the back at all. Right, let's turn it back around. I think that is essentially it. Did you do the sleeves as well? Do you want to take a look? Yeah. Sure, yeah. So let's turn you sideways. So having a look at the width of the sleeve, Luca wants a slightly narrower sleeve. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, and we're just going to pin it in at the back by the amount that we need to narrow it. Again, we don't want to go overboard. A little bit makes a big difference. And I think at the bottom, we can take it all the way to the end. It felt really nice. I felt really comfortable with it. A lot more comfortable than I felt in the past. Well, tailoring for a trans mask body, you have to keep in mind my body shape. <laughs> it's about it's about creating gender affirming shapes. Yeah. Just just keep in mind the other person's personal comfort. I don't know how to tailor. It seems a lot easier now that I know how it's done. I think I'd feel a little less scared to do it.